podcast for the course of reading and logic. This one was about differences between for all and exist, the two quantifiers of predicate logic. Now, although it may seem obvious that these two things are not the same, there are some subtleties that students often get wrong, and I want to discuss a couple of those with you today. Consider the following four statements. For all x, dx implies qx. For all x, dx and qx. There is an x such that dx implies qx. And there is an x such that dx and qx. Now, let's take a look at the translations of these four statements. The first one translates to for all objects x, if x has property q, then x has property q as well. Hopefully, you realize that this is quite different from statement 2, which says that for all x, x has both the property p and the property q. For the first statement, it's entirely possible that there is an object, let's call it a, which has the property q, but not the property p. Remember that an implication is also true if the uh, antecedent, in this case dx, is false. So our object A could exist in a world where the first predicate holds, but it could not exist in a world where the second predicate holds. Quite a difference between the two. Now let's take a look at these two there exists claims. The first one says that there is an x such that if x has dx, then x has qx as well. And the second one says that there is an x such that x has both properties p and q. Now remember, as we just discussed, that an implication can be true if the antecedent is false. So imagine that we have an object a again, which has property Q, but not property P, then statement 3 is true. So statement 3 doesn't actually state that there is an object with property P. Statement 4 says that there is a thing that has both properties P and Q. So yes, this one does imply that there is at least something with property P. So notice how the implication in the for all statement means something entirely different from the implication in an existential statement. Similarly, although this is perhaps less surprising, the, the implication and conjunction also have very different meanings in both the for it for all and existential cases. It's only the conjunction which is arguably very similar in both the for all and there exist cases. Study these differences well, just so you can make sure not to make the same mistakes as the students of last year did. That's it for now. See you around for the next one.